Last day of demo, guys. You guys, this is potentially our last demo day. Do you even realize? Yeah. I'm just so excited about this. Young and dumb. Young and dumb. Anyways, I'm leaving it in the hands of you guys to vote. Like, and I'm gonna call it save shave or, sh or save. If the vote goes shave, I'll shave it off. If it goes save, I'll keep it until we are done with oh this project. My God. All right, so we are back at the house for our last and final outside project, which is the deck. And you guys saw me come and take that thing down, which was <laughs> interesting. Um, Ted just went and got all the lumber today and we've got all of the, all of the, de the deck boards there. And it's sunny, but it's only like 37 degrees, so we're pretty cold. But first thing we're gonna do is we gotta cut the siding, expose this sill plate. You will run that board all the way. Cause we're making the deck bigger. I'm already getting hot. <laughs> you just said it was cold out. That one. I know, I was waiting, I was hoping I could get one like that. I did mark that one board. And you're sure on the measurement? You can double check me. What, what was the measurement? 176. Ooh, 177. <laughs> is that end good? Yeah. This is the measurement that's gonna count though. Oh, you already marked it. I didn't know you marked it. I said I marked the board for you. And you're like, are you sure on your measurement? Up on top of it. Okay, on. Now you see why I was concerned about the decking. What do you mean? I don't think we're gonna have enough. Oh yeah, I know. So what are we gonna do if we go through all the work and we don't have enough decking? It doesn't cover it. Really doing it, Harry. <laughs> Not even two minutes in, and you got your hot chocolate. Deer hunting after the bed. <laughs> I see a floppy. She's so cute. They're all looking over there. Maybe a big buck will come out.
the roof of my deer stand was literally practically blowing off, making an obscene amount of noise. There's not going to be any deer that are going to come around here, so I'm going to go in and help cook dinner. <laughs> it is so windy. So windy. It doesn't even look bad, but... Oh, it is. Broke the door. Which is Weed, not yeah, the wind, wind broke, broke the, the door. door. It's being held together by a pair of scissors. All right, we're back at the house mm -hmm. to try to get this deck. We're not, we're not going to be able to finish it before the snow flies, but we'd at least like to get the top on. Yeah. We're a little concerned that we don't have enough. To cover the top so worst case scenario we can take the skirting off the front and then finish what we them. have or buy there was some, some menards that might be close but we'll see we'll have to just cross that bridge when we come to it we'll have to improvise yeah. we've got four inches of snow in the forecast um, i work tomorrow and then that's when the snow comes is the day after Father the god we come to you this morning we can just thank you for this day we ask for your blessing over the day the project we have at hand today. Did you take your dress off into a pot? Seriously? How do you do that? Maybe you just put it back. Love you guys and your humor. Great job on the rental house. You need more followers. I'm spreading the word. Thank you, Mary. Oh, so sweet. We're losing them faster than we're gaining them. That's very true. Look at what we're dealing with. This, this, this is straight. So you gotta, we're gonna have to bend these into place. Yeah. So there it is. There. Uh, gap between my teeth. <laughs> All right, I know what you guys are probably thinking. Why are they not using the recommended fasteners that are hidden for these type deck boards? But with what we're working with, there's just absolutely no way that we could do that. So that's why we are installing these boards just like you would any other treated lumber. Okay, so now and that is how you improvise, adapt, and overcome when you get to use someone else's trash as your new deck. <laughs> right? Yeah. So we are about halfway, a little over actually halfway. Over halfway, over halfway with the deck. We are not sure if we're gonna have enough. It's gonna be close if we decide to do the stairs. I'm hoping we have enough, It's it's just, that's about what we have left and we've been trying to pick and choose and like only having as little waste as we possibly can. What do you think? Is it gonna, are we going to have enough? I think we will. I'm hopeful. You're hopeful? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good word. Well, as you can see, we are almost done with the top. We're still not sure if we're going to have enough. But... So basically what we're doing is just laying these deck boards down like regular hardwood floors because we have limited size pieces so in a typical deck you would just buy the size board that you need and it would be like a nice pattern but I like it kind of staggered like this I think it actually looks really really nice just putting in our last ripper piece perfect timing because it is now raining the last board on the top mm -hmm. where do you still have the stairs to go today it's gonna be snowing next time we can get to it that's true Okay, so it's like dark and rainy, but this is what we got done today. The top and then one little sideboard. So now we just have all the skirting around the stairs and the sides and then the railings and, and all the railings.
Look both ways before you cross the street. I would have had an icy pole first. I'll grab it, she says. <laughs> okay, have fun. Okay, I'm back inside now. Kids obviously ditched me right away to go sledding up at the big hill. And anyway, this house is such a disaster right now. Like it's, oof, it's giving me anxiety just being immersed in all this chaos. But that's what I'm here for, to get this place tidied up. We definitely like leaving our projects clean, tidy, organized, and this place is anything but. But anyway, Teddy is on his last day of work right now he was on a long stretch of 12 hour shifts so this is his last day so that means within the next few days we're gonna get started on our next big project i think he said electrical electrical plumbing hvac i don't know everything needs to be done still so but i'm just so excited to be moving back inside and putting this place back together i've i've got to get going i've got a lot of work ahead of me Not sponsored, but I wish we were. Okay, I just finished up, got everything cleaned up and put away. Took care of that big mess of wood over there. Put all, gathered up all the tools. How satisfying is that? I know exactly where everything is now. Put all the tools away. Everything that we need to return. All the lumber, not much I could do about that. Kitchen just kind of is what it is. I can't sweep in here because it's like trying to sweep carpet with all the adhesive that's still stuck on the wood floors. But yeah, overall, very satisfied. Feel so much better about coming here to work. Again, everything is nice and clean and put away. I know where everything is and that just is a really good feeling. I just heard the kids. How was sledding? Good. Where's Finley? She's in the car taking her snow pants off. Oh, okay. Walk under this at your own risk, I guess. Okay, so I'm back at the house, finally. I've been gone for a long time. Uh, Jenna came here yesterday. She completely organized everything. It feels so good in here to come to a clean workspace. It snowed again. It's been snowing for like five or six days. And it's just probably gonna snow till May is what we're dealing with. But I'm back at the house. I've got a couple things I'd like to get done. Uh, try to get these boxes for the electrical placed with it in the wall, the ceiling, the light switches, all that stuff. Maybe get an outlet ran up here in the kitchen so we have a main an outlet on the main level. We've been watching and Jenna's been editing this video and we just wanna apologize for, we didn't really videotape very well. We were in a time crunch. We had less than two days, it was like, less than two days to fit to get this deck. We tried to get it finished. Obviously we didn't. Every day that we worked, we worked till dark. So we never really got good footage. We, we were just scrambling, trying to go fast. Uh, so we apologize for that, but it's a deck. Everybody's seen a deck built before, uh, but we love how it turned out. It's obviously not finished, but at least it's there. And we might have to do it in the winter, but put railings on and all that stuff, but and skirting around it. Uh, but that might be another day. I think I'm due for a new tool belt, little pouch here thing. But this is my dad, so I'm trying to use it as long as I can. Okay, so a little trick I learned. So these boxes need to be 12 inches off your finished floor, or 16 to the bottom, or 16 inches to the top. My hammer is about 13 inches. I'm just gonna put a mark on it. Add a foot. Like so. Hammer on the floor. Okay, we're gonna have to take all that shiplap off of this wall. Sorry, Jenna. Then you your hammer. Don't mind the vermiculite. And that box is ready to go. So the exterior ones, we have to use these black special boxes with the vapor barrier seals as the wires come in and as it on the face plate where the sheetrock will go. Don't mind all this, this weird, weird framing, but there's really nothing that we can do to 
besides taking this whole wall down, but I can't remove a lot of this stuff because the siding on the outside is attached to the shiplap. And the shiplap, as we all know, was what was holding this wall all together, so. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait a minute. They're not supposed to be able to do the electrical. They're supposed to hire that out. Well, we found a way. We can do it ourselves. It's still gonna be inspected. It's gonna be done right. It's gonna be to code, all that jazz. But we don't have to pay somebody else to do it. We get to do it ourselves. So we are saving so much money. Granted, we're gonna, it's gonna take time, but we found a way. We're gonna get to do the electrical ourselves. Because this floor is so uneven, I wanted to use the level. I started over in that corner. That is the highest point. So if I would have measured four feet from the floor for all of these boxes, they would have been like this. And I just, I don't think that would have looked good. The cupboards underneath here are gonna have to be level. So I would hate to measure and it would be off, you know, even if it's off a couple, like half inch, it just visually to me wouldn't look right. So guess who's here? I'm back. We have a working outlet up here now, so that's good. Ooh. I think I'll tell you. Okay, so I was having a really hard time visualizing the kitchen and what it was gonna look like with once this wall went up for the closet, for the bedroom closet. I'm just a very visual person. And so when I saw that go up, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like a monstrosity in here. So <laughs> Ted so lovingly brought this uh, cabinet from downstairs up so I could get a better idea of what it was going to look like and I seriously made him stand there and <laughs> like the Maytag guy and be a fridge and I think it's actually going to be fine so basically that wall that we're framing up right now is going to be the bedroom closet and then the fridge is going to go right Sorry. right to the right of it like kind of nestled in there so Uh, most of you probably know. October is Breast Cancer Awareness a month, which really, really hit home for us this year. Uh, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer in September. When it goes to breast cancer, everything has been as good as it possibly could be. Uh, and we're you know, very thankful for that. But obviously cancer is cancer, very scary. I deal with it every single day at work, working in radiology. So November, I usually have just a mustache. And what that's for is to raise awareness for men's health. Just like October is for women's health, November is for men's health. November. November. I was very hopeful that we would be done with this project come November, but I'm realizing that it is a long ways away. And Jenna does not like my beard. I don't mind it. I don't, I said, I like the beard and the mustache so much better than just the mustache. Yeah. So anyways, I'm leaving it in the hands of you guys, our wonderful followers, to vote. Like, and I'm gonna call it save Shave or Save. So comment below. We'll count them up whenever we post this. We'll give it, you know, to the end of November. If the vote goes Shave, I'll shave it off. If it goes <laughs> Save, I'll keep it until we are done with oh this project. Oh my gosh. Right now I've been growing this for about six months. It would probably end up being a year by the time <laughs> we're done. <laughs> so, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's in your guys' hands. I hope you guys enjoy our videos. Thank you so much for following along. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, share our videos. It really truly is a blessing for uh, yeah, make sure you share. That's, share, yeah. That's what helps so much is sharing it and subscribing. Yeah. Also, if you're semi-new to our channel, it may or may not be because Cody and Summer, Summer. from Can't Contain Us sent you. Huge shout out to them. <laughs> we love Cody and Summer. 
they if you don't if you don't know who they are they are a very young couple who they're building a shipping container house completely on their own to build a life of sustainability and self-reliance which is just so cool i mean they yeah. have done everything on their own and they're just super fun to watch we've learned a lot from them and, um, and and eventually like we've learned so much that you know because eventually we want to do an off-grid treehouse that's what we have originally started out and then long story short we're here but anyways we learn so much by watching things that they do of like being off grid with solar power and generators mm -hmm. and water catchment and whatever and so we just really appreciate their content, their content and just and they're so down to earth and so nice like i follow summer on instagram and they're, they're so just like personable and relatable and <clears throat> down to earth and nice. I'm sorry, I'm like inhaling sawdust. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys aren't subscribed to them, go check out their channel. They are amazing. They're so fun. And again, thank you guys so much for giving us a little shout out on your channel. Yeah, we appreciate it. Truly do. Yeah. We'll make it up to you someday. <laughs> someday. We don't have enough followers to send your way, but. No. So we're moving on to our next project, which is framing in this closet. It was a little pantry before and that was hi. the <laughs> hi that was the attic access the only way to get to the attic you probably maybe remember teddy <laughs> crawling up there when we were first looking at the house so what we plan on doing with it is bumping out this wall so that will be all built in storage and then it'll still be a closet but it'll have washer and dryer hookups so it'll be laundry on the main floor hi Awesome. What? My ladder is against this and I'm not cutting it. Okay. Okay. This demo done. You guys, this is potentially our last demo day. Do you even realize? Yeah. I'm just so excited about this. Young and dumb. Young and dumb. Are you mad at me? Why? What are you mad at you? For making a big mess in here? Oh. It's the way cookie crumbles. Uh, most of you probably know. November is the equivalent of October. Wow. <laughs> November is the equivalent of October? Wow. <laughs> it's because I'm filming you. So we'll check you later. Check you later. <laughs>